up, Fave family? Today is Monday, September 12th, reporting for Fave TV today. My name is Roland White. And my name is Samuel Merritt. Welcome to this week's episode of Fave TV. We have a lot to share with you today, but first let's take a moment for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by moments of silence. Please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for a moment of silent reflection. And now a message from Dr. Barton. Good morning, Fave family. This is your principal, Dr. Barton. I hope you all are doing well and off to a great week so far. Happy Monday. All right, so there are just some things that we want to talk about today to make sure that you know about them and you're having going to be set up for success. Number one is that Canvas is up and running. So your teachers are going to be shifting a lot of that content that they've been talking about to Canvas. So make sure that you are set up. If you need any information about how to get onto Canvas, how to use it, all of that, talk to your homeroom teacher, uh, talk to your content area your teachers, do what you need to do. And then on top of that, we really want to make sure that your parents or guardians, uh, whoever's in charge in your house, has a parent observer account. That's a Canvas parent observer account. If you don't know what that is, again, make sure that you talk to your teacher about that. But that's just a way for them to see what you're learning about. Make sure uh, they can help you stay on track. Uh, it's really, really important so that they can see how you're doing, what you're doing, and on top of that, just making sure that we're all working together to make sure that you are successful. All right, second thing is, do you know Fave's mission and vision statement? If you don't, I get it, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. So first, I'm gonna read you our mission statement. Really super simple. We build relationships to inspire authentic learning. So think about it. Have you been building relationships this school year between you and your teachers? Have you been building relationships between you and your peers? So think about that. And because our school is built on relationships so that we can have those authentic learning experiences. So we wanna make sure that you are um, doing your part and reaching out and making friendships and also on top of that building relationships with the staff here at FAVE. All right, and then our vision statement is the FAVE way, cultivating independent digital learners and critical thinkers through innovative experiences. So we want you to one, be an independent digital learner. That means that you are uh, able to learn successfully. You don't need someone looking over your shoulder all the time, even though we do have those Canvas Observer accounts. And then on top of that, we want you to be critical thinkers. We don't want you just to memorize information and spit it back out to us. We want you to really be thinking about what you're learning, asking questions, and even thinking about how you can make it better. So make things better. So just uh, think through that. That's our vision statement for you. And I'm going to say it one more time. The Fave way, cultivating independent digital learners and critical thinkers through innovative experiences. And if you're at FAVE, you're already participating in an innovative experience because you were learning online in this format. So we're excited about our mission and vision. We're excited about where we're going as a school and you are a part of that. So keep on building those relationships, keep on learning and make sure that you are starting to think about how you can be into more independent. And then on top of that, uh, how you think critically. We wanna hear your opinion and think critically about the content. All right, everybody, that's all I have for today. Have a great Monday. If you ever need anything, just reach out. Thanks. Everyone out there likes popcorn. Please consider supporting our school through our popcorn fundraiser running September 14th through 18th. In order to precipitate Follow the Double Good app. Enter Fave Event Code T H X M E S and create your Fave Pop Out Store to share with families and friends. For more information, see the Hour Express or email Miss Cherry Lynn Lee at 
l e e c m at fulton school dot org. Hi, baby students. Do you know who your school counselor is? Well, we're here to tell you that if you need to contact your counselor in art in grades third through eighth grade, then you should be reaching out to Miss Sarah White at white sarah at fulton schools dot org. And if you are a high school student in grades nine to twelve. Then your counselor is Miss Julie Gracie, and her email is gracyj at fullsonschools dot org. We look forward to hearing from both of them in our future episode. Hey, Bay family! Picture Day is coming up on October fifth. Save the date because we will have Picture Day at our touchdown location. Sign up details will be coming soon, so get your outfits ready and keep an eye on the Owl Express for more information. All students who show up for a photo will also receive a school ID. Okay, so as you should already know, Canvas is working now for everyone classes here at Faith. That's right, Roland. Checking with your teachers about live lessons and past assignments from Teams. For real, Sam. Your teachers move your recorded grades from Teams to Canvas. Check in with your teacher if you have questions about your grades. So if you want to know your grade, just check Canvas. Hey everyone, Miss B here, your fave high school art teacher. I am on Fave TV today to share some amazing artworks that I got in my intro to art class for our All About Me project where we shared our favorite foods, hobbies, and careers. So without further ado, check these amazing artworks out. Recently, students in Ms. Valerie Scott's TAG class created its public service announcement and asked us to share it with the rest of our Faye family. Let's see what they have to share with us. Oh my gosh! Can you believe what we learned in TAG today? Yeah, about airborne viruses? That was so nasty. We should bring awareness to people about airborne viruses. Yeah, let's go! Attention! Airborne viruses are spreading throughout our neighborhood, our county, our community, and our country. Stop the spread of airborne viruses and COVID-19 now. Airborne viruses are almost everywhere. When you sneeze, little particles come out and can spread out to almost six feet. And when other people come by and breathe there, they can catch the particles in their mouth, nose, or skin, and then get sick. That's why we need to always stay six feet away from others and stop the spread of airborne viruses. You can help. You can help in a lot of ways. Tell your friends and family to always sanitize their hands and or wash their hands for 20 seconds. Get all the bacteria off their hands after they come back from a place. Put on a mask whenever you are going out. Be careful when you are touching a spot and then touch your face since it could have a lot of bacteria on it. Our world could be a better place if everyone sticks together and stops the spread of airborne virus and COVID-19, etc. Tell your family, your friends, even your little baby brother or sister, if you have one, to do whatever they can. Help to stop the spread of COVID-19, monkeypox, flu, cold, and other airborne viruses now. Thank you, Miss Scott, for sharing this with us. Nice job, students. Greetings, Faye family. It's Miss Fix. I teach fourth and fifth grade reading and language arts. And as you know, we have a new program called Wonders. And during our first unit, we had to read stories about natural disasters for fourth grade and how to take care of the earth for fifth grade. And we had to create those public service announcements. So here are some public service announcements to teach you what to do in an emergency and teach you how to keep the earth clean and safe. Thank you. Hi, today we're going to talk about caring nature. Number one, don't pollute the lands. We should not pollute so we cannot hurt plants and the wild animals. Number two, don't smoke. We should not smoke on land so, so we can't contaminate the air we breathe all the time. Number three, care for nature. 
Respect the good things we have from nature, like trees, air, water, and much more. Remember, trees we plant today are forests we enjoy tomorrow. If this is an earthquake, one of the deaths, then do not be close to a glass. We might get home. And don't play with fire fuel in the forest. If you do, you might cause a false fire and burn so much houses down. And don't walk alone because someone might rob you and steal your money. What's going on, Faith family? We had a chance to interview Miss Burns and it was great. Yeah, she's super amazing. All of us Faith here reporters got to ask our questions. So we're going to have a three-part special to show you all of her amazing answers. Hi, Miss Burns. Welcome to Faith TV. We're so happy to have you here with us. I'm glad to be here. Thank you, Stella. Okay, well, our Faith TV reporters are going to take turns asking you some questions. Well, my first question for you is what made you want to work at Faith? I was an assistant principal at a high school, and so in about March or April um, of 2021, I, yeah, 2020, yeah, I received a call to say um, that we're going to begin a virtual school, and so um, I was asked to join FAVE, and I took on the challenge, and I've loved every minute working here. That's awesome. My second question for you is, how long have you been working at FAVE? So I began with Faith, like when it was just an idea or a concept and I was brought on to the team. Wow, that's awesome. Can you give us an overview of the duties, functions, and responsibilities of your job? Sure. So I'm an assistant principal. My primary role at FAVE is I serve as the curriculum assistant principal. So my job primarily deals with scheduling, everything academic, um, academically related to the building. So here it's just really different. Um, it's not as big of a team. And so my functions look a little bit different. But everything is behind the keyboard and at this magical computer all day. Goal for the school year? My goal for this school year it's a really simple goal. It is for students and families to leave here wanting to come back. And that just encompasses so much. It's creating an environment where you guys want to be here, um, creating a school experience to where you feel like you're receiving the rigor and the quality of instruction that you need. And so for me, my greatest goal this school year is not just to survive, but almost to thrive at FAVE um, to where you guys, this is where you want to be. And I think that's the greatest testament to our success as a school. Well, thank you for letting me interview you. No problem. Thank you, Tamari. I appreciate you. My name is Samuel Merritt. I'm a FAVE TV reporter. Hey, Sam, I've seen you in a few commercials. How are you? I'm good. How about you? Awesome. So what is your typical day like for you? And so my day, I begin every day. I check my team's messages for urgent messages in the morning. And then I check my Outlook email first thing in the morning for urgent messages. Then after that, I carve out my day into different blocks for what I'll work on. So if there's different things I need to update inside of Infinite Campus, I do that. Um, I carve out a time to go to classrooms and then I carve out time to respond to emails. Before when I started this journey, I spent all day answering emails because it was I felt like a call center, like, oh, yeah. how can I help you? <laughs> so in order for me to get more work done and to be more effective and efficient, I have to make a checklist. I have a big drive erase board that has like all my big buckets so that I can make sure that I don't forget what needs to take place in case emergencies go on. So it's a little bit different, but I still kind of break up my day into time blocks to make sure I get everything done. That's good. That's good. So what is your favorite part of your job? My favorite part of my job is interacting with students. That has always been the favorite part of my job. Um, sometimes as an administrator, you get, you know, sometimes you get the bad emails, the bad phone yeah. calls, but being with kids, it's just like, it just changes everything. It doesn't matter what happens for the day and just being with students. So that is always my favorite time. That's good, that's good. Well, that's all I got for you for today. Thank you, Thanks. Sam. That's all for now, but we'll see more Mrs. Barr answers in the upcoming week.
For now, let's go over to our Faith TV reporter, Kevin, who has the answers to the last week's question of the week. Here are some answers from last week's question of the week from a few wonderful students here at Faith. My name is Indy Houston, and I'm in the sixth grade. My homeroom teacher is Ms. Crystal Williams. The thing I like most about Faith is that it's virtual and I get to make new friends. What I like most about being a Faith student is that I get to do all my work in the time that I want to do it, and it's easier to take my notes and look at the screen, and I get to look at all the videos I want for my schoolwork. And also, I have like resources like Canvas and Teams and Class Notebook, and it's really easy to get to my work through there. My name is Dalen and I'm in the eighth grade. Um, my home teacher is Ms. Jordan A. And what I like the most about being a student here at Faith is that it's virtual, I get to be in my PJs, it's comfortable, and that definitely makes it easier to learn at school. Hey Faith family, we thank you for submitting your videos in response to our question of the week. We love hearing your answers and featuring you on all of our episodes. This is Kevin Johns, Fave TV reporter, and I'm out. That's all for today, Fave family. Check out the Hour Express for any announcements you have missed. Stay on top of your campus assignments. And as always, we'll leave you with some of our teachers' tweets of the week. That's right, teachers. Please use the hashtag, the Fave way, and share cool things that are going on in your classroom. Have a great week. the news to your nest.